All right, Victor. It has long been one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city of Monroe. The controversial statue of General George Custer has been prominently displayed along the River Raisin for more than 100 years. The night camp Tim Pamplin is in Monroe with the new push to get that statue removed. A discussion has started in Monroe. Build something better for the future. At the base of the General Custer statue at Monroe and Elm Street, a couple dozen protesters came out this evening demanding the statue be taken down and relocated. I have two children. Um, I don't want them to have to be protesting at the age of 36 the same things that I'm protesting for right now. The protest on behalf of Native Americans. We just want it removed completely because it means something to us more than it means to others. Because you know what? This is a healing ceremony. That's While the protesters made their voices heard, around town on a Zoom call. Upset with him being there. The city council uh, hey, tackled the see, issue. Another thing that we've talked about as well is introducing more Indian culture to the city of Monroe. One council member said he would rather let bygones be bygones. I'd rather spend my time on positive change than going back and erasing textbooks, moving statues, changing the names of city streets. Man, monuments are best made in the forms of schools and hospitals, things that actually have a practical use and help people. As the conversations continued on the street corners and around the virtual council meetings, the subject of inclusion and diversity came up. I just don't want it to be thought that I'm saying that it's negative to remove the statue. For the lone African-American voice on the council, let me just say it straight out. I, I think we have a big problem with racism in our county and in our city. And I don't see um, the statue being removed as helping that, but I do see how it would make some people feel better. Tonight, the conversation continues. That is the scene in Monroe tonight with a night camp, Tim Pamplin, Local 4. All right, Tim, there is no vote scheduled, but another meeting is set with City Council for later in the week.